Years after the pandemic, many city centers are still trying to regain their footing. Hybrid work arrangements have kept commuter traffic below pre pandemic levels and public transit ridership hasn't rebounded. Many high profile offices are still vacant. That means fewer people are downtown. A new analysis in the Denver Business Journal features the downtown vitality index that compares more than 40 cities on a variety of metrics. Joining us now is the managing managing editor of the Denver Business Journal, Chris Rourke. Chris, talk to us more about what this study is. How vital is Denver's downtown uh, according to the numbers? Well, American City Business Journals, which is the parent company of the Denver Business Journal, analyzed public data from, say, sources like the U.S. Postal Service and the Department of Transportation, and then it came up with an index of 42 cities. One of the statistics that was very telling about Denver, which is at the bottom quarter of this index, is that more than a thousand businesses left downtown Denver since 2019. Well, that's a whopping number. I'm curious, though, what categories, Chris, is Denver doing well in right now? Well, Denver's doing well when it comes to travel and tourism. Like Denver downtown hotels, the occupancy rate is about 88% of what it was in 2019. Air travel is another bright spot. You know, Denver International Airport had record number of passengers last year. In fact, another study just named Denver as the third busiest airport in the world. So what are the areas where we, we need to improve? Where, where is Denver not doing so well, Chris? Sure, Denver's not doing well when it comes to working downtown. The office vacancy rate in Denver is one of the highest in comparison to the other cities. It's at 27.4%. The RTD, the Regional Transportation District, well, it's got about half of the ridership it had in 2019. And when it comes to those long commutes, you know, an hour or longer, Denver's right in the middle of the pack compared to the other cities. Okay, so Chris, initially you said Denver was in the lower quarter compared to other cities. Like, what exactly does that mean? Break that down for us. How did we fare? Yeah, sure. I saved the best or the worst for last. Uh, Denver's 32 out of 42 cities. That doesn't look so good. But as you guys were talking about earlier in the newscast, it is opening day. So hopefully if the Rockies have a good season, everyone will feel better about being downtown. Well, let's hope. Let's hope in a lot of ways. Cross both hands. Chris Rourke, the managing editor of the Denver Business Journal. We appreciate you joining us today. Thanks for your time.